Christmas Eve, you guys. Saturday and Sunday, I uh, photographed the Nutcracker Ballet, which I have been photographing for 24 years now. Mr. Uh, Jacoby with Delta Festival Ballet was one of my first clients of my first year in business. So as long as I've been in business is how long I've been photographing the Nutcracker Ballet. And if you've never photographed the ballet before or any kind of theater light, you know, stage lighting with that spotlight on the person and it's a dark scene and they change colors, you know, from blues to a red scene in the background and your exposure is very, very different. Two things. First of all, getting the shot Meaning, when they're doing their stuff and they do a jump and they do a split and they come back down, that split in midair, it, it, there's only one shot. Correctly, it's complete split. Not almost, not here, not there. It's complete split. If you miss that complete split, you don't have the shot. So I'm anticipating the rhythm of what they're doing and I know what they're going to do. So right before they're completely there, I got to tell my finger to snap and I'm getting it. It's not easy. Uh, the second thing is the lighting. The lighting is ridiculous, man. Sometimes that darn spotlight on the main character is too bright. And a stop too bright can ruin the whole image for me. I am way in the back by the sound booth. So my subject is normally 50, 60 yards away, if not more than that, honestly. And my 70 to 200 is on a monopod. And I am just squeezing one shot at a time. Going click, 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 click does not help you get the shot. You still have to know the rhythm of these dancers. They're dancing to the downbeat of the ballet. Um, I play music. I'm a drummer. So I can tell when the dancers are on with the music or they're off. When they're off, it makes my job a little harder because I'm used to hearing that beat. And I know when they're supposed to be here. And when they're off... It, it, it throws me off and the rhythm is off. But when they're on, good things happen. I just realized there's a hanger hanging back here. This is not a perfect scene. Oh, it's Christmas time. I feel sad I can't help it. Got you on my mind. What's up, Paul? What's <laughs> Hey. Christmas, everybody. Have a, 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 a Papa GK right here. <laughs> Have a beautiful New Year. <laughs> tradition with me and my dad that he makes a very good Bloody Mary and uh, we don't believe in just buying the mix when you're done. You know, you gotta spice it up a little bit. A little celery salt, a little black pepper, some actual celery. And vodka, of course. <laughs> Did not exist when I was a kid. Look at this. No, here's the ground. Here's the wall. Move them. Hey, Jacob, look at some butter. See, it's a wall because you see this picture. 
When my grandma used to say, you driving me up the wall? That's literal. Bye, Dad. Love you. Hey, you guys. From my family to yours. Merry Christmas. That's right.